today. We're going back to coconut rum. It's Tuesday, it's Lucky Dip on my channel. And I've decided to do coconut rum. I've been rocking out Coco Cannon for the last few weeks, but I decided to go back to Aluna this time. because so I kind of wanted to demonstrate that you can make fun sort of coconut drinks without them being overly sweet. Now, I'll talk you through the recipe in a second, uh, but there is an ingredient that I've used in here to kind of balance it and dial it back down. It's absolutely lovely. Get a subtle, uh, subtle bit of citrus coming through there, but a little bit of salty saline, and it just balances the cocktail beautifully. If you don't want that, if you do want this to be a bit sweeter, firstly, don't use that ingredient. You'll soon, you'll soon see it in a second. But secondly, you could add uh, a touch of sugar if you wanted to. Now, with a lot of my cocktails, I do open the names out to my legends, my membership community, and they haven't disappointed this week. Let's just run you through some of the names. Callum came up with coconuts or going chocolate bananas. Um, Andy came up with cocoa banana or at the, at the cocoa banana, as in at the cocoa. Cabana. Uh, Trevor came up with Coco Sour, Coco Sour. Uh, Darren came up from Aluna Matata, as in uh, it's a Lion King reference, that one. Uh, Ash came up with the Heavenly Cream. Uh, Ross went with Chocolate Banana Hammock. Trevor Rose, Banana Split. Uh, you can kind of sense what's coming up in here, a bit of banana. Uh, and Paul uh, went with Chocolate Banana Sweetie. However, uh, I went with Kay this time. George is not got involved this week with someone that, with the names. Uh, she is busy though. Um, Kay, I've gone with you, Kay, because I think that this is a reference to Herbie and the love bug and all that. And Kay's gone with Bounty Goes Bananas, as in Herbie Goes Bananas. So I think that one's gonna stick. This is Bounty Goes Bananas. Right, running through the ingredients for this cocktail. This time around, I've gone for uh, a Luna coconut rum, as I've just talked about uh, a little bit there. Uh, to accompany that, we've gone for some Giffard's Posh Banana uh, Liqueur. Absolutely love that. So much better than any other banana liqueur out there. Uh, I've featured this a couple of times now. Uh, this is super sour. Think distilled citrus, non-alcoholic, crazy, but distilled citrus with a hint of saline creates perfect balance and it's brilliant for creamy cocktails like this. Uh, I've got Mozart's white chocolate and vanilla liqueur. I've got a bit of half and half, so half cream, half milk, and I've got some coffee bitters. Well then, this is a shaken cocktail. You could blend it up, but I'm gonna shake it down. Uh, so first ingredient we're gonna go for is a Luna. Now, a Luna and coconut rum is very subtle, uh, but lovely, it's a lovely rum, but very subtle coconut, and just work perfectly. I'm going for 60 ml, two ounces of this. Next ingredient I'm going for is some of Giffard's uh, banana liqueur. As I've just said, honestly, there is no comparison. It's just a class above. I'm going 15 ml, uh, half an ounce of a banana liqueur. Now my next ingredient is the super sour. Let's just get you a little close up on that so you can see it properly. Uh, now, if you don't, if you want a nice sweet cocktail, then don't think about uh, using anything like this. I've used this purely because I don't want to put add fresh lemon juice or lime juice. That I don't want to run the risk of curdling drinks. Uh, and this just kind of act, gives you that sort of citrusy, salty kind of balance without, without ever running the risk of uh, the curdles. So uh, I'm gonna use this. Now you never need to use too much of this. Uh, so I'm actually going for five mil, which is just about a bar spoon. Perfect. Next ingredient I'm going for is some of Mozart's white chocolate and vanilla liqueur. This is luscious and lovely. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce of that. If you accidentally slip and add a bit more, that's fine. And then my final ingredient before the shake is some half and half, just half milk, half cream. Use milk, use cream, use dairy replacements, whatever you fancy. I'm going for 30 ml, one ounce of this. Now we're just going for a big old shaky shaky, so plenty of ice in your cocktail shaker. And then good hard fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And when that's cold enough and you're out of breath, uh, that'll be ready. Right, I'll just pop this down there. I'm gonna serve it up in my pina colada glass. You notice that I haven't done the coffee bitters yet. I'm gonna do my trick. Uh, I won't mention the brand because, well, you can, close, you can zoom in uh, and we'll see what the brand is. What I'm gonna do is eight spritzes of this. Eight. One, two, three, five. Oh, six, seven, eight, right. 
So I've got eight spritzes. That will be roughly the equivalent to it'll be just under two dashes. Um, but what I've done with the spritz, I've kind of coated the glass and I've got those lovely kind of coffee notes going through the glass. Right now, I'm just going to kind of single strain. You could do a shake and dump if you want the two or a day dump, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to single strain. Lovely, jubbly, perfect. Now I'm just going to top up with some crushed ice. Then just to garnish, I've got some lovely 73% uh, cacao. This is a dark chocolate with tangy notes of uh, citrus and red berries. This is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna do some grated chocolate over the top. If you want even more coconut rum recipes, dive into one of the videos that's popping up on screen there. As always, if you like the recipe, big old thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of our future uh, videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel.